Hi, it's Roberto Mickey giving you some data on two different filters, the 3M7093 and the 3M7093CN. Well, just to let you know, I fell into a little trap that's often seen on Amazon. Sometimes products look very similar, and if you're not really, really careful, you don't notice that there's a slight difference. And in this case, I fell into that trap. On the left, you can see a 7093 that I bought from one supplier, and the other one's a 7093CN, which I bought from another supplier. And after talking to some people, the 7093CN is a 3M product, but it's for export to both Hong Kong and mainland China. Luckily, in my other videos, I actually had the link for the real 3M 7093 filters, and today we're testing those against the CN filters. The good news is that the 7093CN and the 7093 that I got from the other supplier both tested really, really well, and we're going to show that data today. Here's the packaging for the 7093 like our previous trials, we're going to compare it to the air, but this time we're going to do 90 trials. So here's the 7093 being trialed, and you can see that the particle count is very, very low, and we got an average 1.58 particles in the 0.3 micron channel. Here's a 7093CN being trialed, and the particle count was also very, very low, and we got an average of 1.98 particles in the 0.3 micron channel. So in the ambient air we had an average of 990 particles in the 0.3 micron particle channel and in the 7093 we had 1.58 which gave us a 99.83 percent filtration rate. In the 7093CN we had 1.98 particles which gave us a 99.80 percent filtration rate. I could not measure a difference between the two sets of filters but I would still buy the brand name one that's made for the United States or for Canada. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe below. We could use the support. Talk to you later.